All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you the before and after of my salon reno. You can see a little bit of it behind me here, but I can't wait to show you what it looked like before, the transformation, and how we did it. So get ready, buckle up for this awesome YouTube video. Hey, if we haven't met, my name is Dawn Bradley. I've been a hairstylist for 20 years and I help take the stress out of your business for you. So stick around, I can't wait to share my salon renos and all the other stress reducing, time saving, money making tips and tricks. Hey guys, I am in the salon today. Um, we're actually packing up, it's December. Sarah's here with me, she doesn't wanna be in it. <laughs> it's December 13th, 2020. Uh, we've got shut down for four weeks minimum and we're also doing renos in the salon, which is really, really exciting. So. I'm gonna show you a little bit before of the salon, before the renos, and then magically through the power of time and internet, you're gonna see the afters right after. Ready? Make sure to subscribe first. Okay, you guys, my salon literally has no, oh, this is really bright. Has no sign except this, which is really hard to see and people always get lost. We are in an old hospital building in downtown Calgary, but kind of in the middle of nowhere, but we're kind of like this hidden gem. So, Hi, Walter. Are you welcoming us in? This is the salon when you walk in. Um, <laughs> Sarah's hiding. We've got our lovely sanitization station um, and our front desk. We've got product back there. And if it's going to focus here, this is how the salon's been set up. I moved in here five years ago, which is so crazy, um, and did this place. It's changed a little bit over the last five years. We've already started packing up some stuff here, but you can see two chairs here two chairs here we've got four stations out here in the open and then let's go this is like my favorite thing the hair sign which is going goodbye this whole wall is actually going to get torn down but you can see here this is where i have always worked for the last five years which is so crazy and it's going to be so different here is, so this originally was way different. I'll see if I can try and find some pictures if it's gonna focus here, come on. There we go, it used to be one sink. I used to have a chalkboard wall, like right along here. Um, but in probably three years ago, we redid this back area to be all nice. We've got the sinks here, we're getting new sinks. And then this is where we mix up our color. Which here, let's see if I can get this. It does not want to focus. There we go. I've got these awesome Ikea cupboards, which like hold our color really nicely. These are all staying. Ooh, I'm going to sneeze. This will be great for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots of storage. All my shades of Q. We've got our brushes, which is, you know, goes par for my messiness. And all our color books. And then, so this is where, what we see when we wash our client's hair. And then this is one room that I'm very excited for. It's our back room. We've got this sliding barn door, which is going to change a little bit. And then this has just kind of been like our makeshift shift back room. We've got washer and dryer. We have like our little mini fridge here. The Walter's blanket. We've got like a little workstation, our whiteboard got storage up here. This used to actually be a denture clinic, which is so weird. So actually on these up here, there's like little things. Let's see if I can see it. It like says right here, like ready. There's still like labels processing up there, but there's like a whole bunch of color. My Tassimo stuff, knickknacks. I've got like updo stuff, bleach. All this is going to go. We're getting a whole new back area here. I'm so excited. We're going to have like a like an eating nook kind of work nook shelf here and then we're gonna get one we've got two of these right now for storage which is so great I just kind of have like odds and ends these are kind of my like um, little samples and stuff that I give to clients from time to time um, and like I keep people's extensions in here we've also got lots of like candy jars color extra retail we're gonna have three of those um, it's gonna this whole back room. There's like other storage up here It's just gonna be completely transformed into something like look I legit have like a light that's plugged in down here 
up through that because I don't like using fluorescent lights. So we're gonna actually get like a real light back here. It's gonna be amazing. So you can see here when we, and we have a microwave, it's gonna be such a cute back room. This is the view from here. We're actually getting a whole mural to put on this back wall, but you can see it's 680 square feet. We're in this old hospital. This door actually goes out into this hallway corridor, if it'll focus here, right there, right there. We don't really go out here very often because it's kind of scary. But the cool thing is, is we don't have to clean a bathroom in this space because the bathroom's down the hallway. So you can see here this whole wall, if it, oh my goodness, my camera, come on. This whole wall is gonna get knocked down. We're gonna have like nice open lots of light. We get so much, we face, face south with these lights. So it's gonna look so nice and bright in here. We're gonna bring a lot more color to it. So I'm really excited. Maybe I should do the like snap of the fingers thing, right? To make it like look like it was done overnight. <laughs> All right, it's gonna take about four weeks to completely transform this place. It's gonna be a whole new space. It's gonna be so good. Ready guys? Three, two, one my front door to the salon. So nothing super exciting to see on the outside, but I'm so freaking excited to show you the Renos. So I need to get this redone, but here we go. First things first. Hi, Walter. Hi, bud, can you sit? Good boy. Sit, sit, sit. Good boy, what a nice greet to the salon. So immediately as you come in, you see this beautiful yellow hello sign accompanied with our product shelves. Now mind you, our rentals just happened. So you can see we haven't quite fully stocked our shelves yet. So when you come in and immediately to your left, we've got our slippers to keep the place nice and clean and tidy, a coat rack, and our nice little waiting area. We'll have some plants in there. I'm so excited to put plants in there, and then little plants in, oh, focusing on my finger, in these potted plants right there. Design this up a little bit nice, but how cute is that? So then you come right into the salon. This is my station, because you know, the owner of the place. And then we got, Walter's found a comfy spot over here. So I don't know if you can remember what it looked like before. And these lights are so cute. I'm gonna go turn them on right away, but how freaking cute. We've got these Minerva chairs. Let me put these lights on. So beautiful. I love the pink arch detail around it. It feels like it just ties the stations together. So let me show you these two stations side by side there, so freaking cute. The camel colored Minerva chairs, I'm obsessed with. These slat walls, I don't know if you noticed, but they are actually ombre So you can see over here, they go from dark to light. My station here, I'll have some more plants over here, maybe some art. Um, this archway over here, which ties in the archway, very retro vibe. Love how like when I'm with a client, I can look over, someone's waiting there, that chair swivels. Look how cute it looks from here, people walking in. We've got beautiful south-facing light. And then the Minerva wash stations with these cute little poofs. Let me make it a little bit brighter here. I love this back and like this art or the, the painting. So I had renovated this back area a couple years ago, put the tile in, put this around here. Um, you can see we keep the stations really clear. I'll show you the back room. We don't keep our stuff out, but we've got like our whole drawer of the only the best brushes ever. We've got bowls, some product in here. Shades EQ for the win. I really love these drawers because you can pull out your color like this and keep it in there. We've got that, three of those in each. Got this nice bottom ones to keep extra stuff in. Of course, we're repping salon scale and a fun little treat from one of my clients for the Renos. So you can see here we've got a sink here, 
we keep because we're uh, I have two I have a renter here and space for another renter we keep our separate shampoos up here our towels here our bar barbicide we've got capes we've got rags capes and then our um, aprons here we've got garbage under here for cleaning supplies and then we got the sinks here and we're actually, because this may, these sinks are a little bit different and we have to lean a little bit further, we're actually gonna move the top of the sink onto this wall. So it'll actually just, we can, I'll we'll actually be able to remove the chrome because it's two separate pieces and have the plumbing come up from the wall. Love the poofs. And next, then this door goes into the little staff room, which I've actually hidden a bunch of my filming stuff because I am in the salon filming today. But I'm gonna magically, with the magic of YouTube, go into this next and it'll be clean. It's a nice little pull and ready all right here is the back room it is not completely done but i'm still so excited to show you guys so right away we've got the washing machine and dryer right here these have been my tried and true i got them at a furniture they were show they were um floor models i got them at a decent price and they have lasted me 10 years here at the salon and right away you come in here, we're actually going to be wallpapering this whole wall. Um, but we've got this nice mirror from Ikea. Um, you can see we've got like this just to separate the um, washing machine area. Got a place for my trolley there, another trolley for a renter. Um, this we have, this is like the coolest thing. They've made this little thing here to hide all of our internet and everything in here. Um, but this is a nice little workbench where we can like sit and have our lunch. I'll have two high top stools here, sit and have our lunch, work on our computers, work on our businesses. We've got an awesome fridge back here. Microwave, as you know, every salon should have something like this. Um, cords, phones, things like that go in there. We've got this nice, look how beautiful this backsplash is. Um, and we've got these cupboards which still need to be organized a little bit. Um, sink this is all ikea which is great like ikea countertop we've got this pull out for our garbage and recycling three more drawers that pull out you can see this is like one of my favorite drawers all the framar stuff love it um cleaning supplies color books this is just you know still lots of space um got another trolley here and then we each have a locker these are just ikea lockers you can see this is Mine got lots of space for storage, extra color, coats, shoes, got three of those. Um, it's a really pretty awesome, uh, it, like just looking at from what a client's perspective would be before and what it is now. Here, I'm just gonna sit right back in the salon sink, even if the door is left open. Um, it's a nice look, you can see that nice uh, uh, light fixture there. Let's see, there we go, from article. It's actually quite, I don't know if you can tell, I've had to like up, up the exposure in here because it's quite a bit darker than here. I have to darken this up than in the salon, but you can see this nice look here. Oh, there's my tripod. But it's just a really nice view when you come out from the room. Closing the door behind, we've got this nice little detail here. Oh, nice little detail of that leather hand. And so it's really cozy and it actually blocks quite a bit of sound. So when you're back here, you're not hearing your clients as much. And that is before we didn't have a light switch we actually just plugged it in so that's the back room I always I feel like I've always lived in or have worked in salons that didn't give a nice back room and it's amazing what a back room can do so you just having a good back room to hang out in I just love the look and feel from this angle still privacy you can see what's going on in the salon you can see the sinks are right here color mixing up it just feels really fluid and I'm just so freaking in love with it. There's Walter and my stuff from today. So that's the salon tour. And of course, it wouldn't be right if I didn't thank the people who made this what it is. Thank you to Leanne Bennell Interiors for designing this beautiful space, unique projects and renovations for making her vision come to life. And Rosie Lee for doing this amazing mural on the wall, all the painting that you see on the walls, those ombre slat uh, walls are so awesome. So if you like this video and if you like the renovations, go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. Leave me a comment on what your favorite part of the renovations is. What are you obsessed with the most? I can't wait to hear and chat with you in the comments below.